Well, we're back here with Brenda. It's the Jam Busters uh, video series. It's starting to get kind of popular. We're getting people checking out your videos, so that's a good sign. But uh, we had teased people in the last one that we were going to talk about something really kind of cool. And it is, you know, leading up to Christmas, but also for any kind of gift giving. Uh, you've got something that you've called the Jam Busters... Tasty Tubes. Tasty Tubes. Can you explain what a Tasty Tube is? Sure. I've got a sample right here. All right. Okay, so it's a cute little decorative, could be used for Christmas or birthdays. And inside um, are three little samples of uh, my preserves. So that one is the cherry chutney. Okay. Cherries from Olala. This is a jalapeno jelly. Okay. And that's from Carameas. And this is a raspberry jam. And that's from just 24 kilometers east of Princeton. Okay. And then the other option is that. It's, um, yeah. Kind it's, of a seasoning mix, is it's it? It's a spicy mixture. It says it can be used for a cheese ball, or I think you can mix it into sour, sour cream or cream cheese or mayonnaise. Wow. To your taste, you know, for, for dip. Okay. All right, so the, the whole goal here is that people can come and uh, pick any of these particular items and, and put them in one of these stacks and use that as a gift, uh, like yeah. a Christmas gift or a birthday gift or whatever. But it, the timing at this point is because we're going into Christmas season. Right, so you can say, okay, I want to get a gift for my girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, dad. They like hot and spicy, so let's put jalapeno in there. Let's put the seasoning mix because Christmas is coming. Ooh, jam for breakfast. So three fit in there really nicely. If you want to try the fourth, you could buy it additionally. Or we have those longer tubes. Yeah, you want to reach have, over and pull out one of those? Yeah, I should have had this up here before. Yeah. We, we have these two. Yeah. We can put, you know, a combination of, of the jelly jars or the 250 mils. Okay, so what inspired you to uh, go with the little <laughs> jar situation? I, uh, I wanted little samplers for people okay and to be honest i i really like the jelly jars aren't they cute <laughs> <laughs> so because of the fact that you think they're pretty cute you thought other people would too and we're gonna just put they, stuff in them and sell them yeah they're so cute they're so adorable i just love the little how big are those is that like 125 mil yeah 125 mil. okay so that those are yeah you're right that would be like a sample size jar yeah, the next size is the 120 or the 250 mil. That's a, the common size I have here for right. the habanero relish. Right. And for the um, the jams. Okay. And then the bigger 500s are good for the salsas and the beet pickles, etc. Perfect. Do you have Which, a price? By on the way, oh. also fit in here too. Yes. The Actually, we should probably explain that that is typically this is a, a, a wine package. Is that for a bottle of wine? Is typically what this would be used for to, yeah. to package and sell. Uh, and probably as a gift, you know, give away. But instead, what you've done is you found that these particular jars, the size of these jars, fit in there just absolutely perfectly, right? I mean, it's you don't have to slide it in there, but it actually will go in there just fine. Yeah, and it holds the 500 mils too. Right. Okay. Um, all right then. Have you got a price on these tasty tubes that you're talking about back here? These the this particular three small jar combination. Um. Oh, is it doing the math. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen bucks for one of those. Yeah. Okay. And Tax is in. Oh, oh, so no extra. So sixteen no. total. And these start at twenty dollars. All right. So people can come and see you at uh, the News Leader office yeah. on Bridge Street in downtown Princeton. And mm -hmm. uh, if they want to contact you about other stuff and just want to find out a little more about what you're doing, uh, what's your website? Oh, uh, triple W, jambusters.ca. That's right. And why did you call these tasty tubes? Because I know, and, and I need to throw this out there, I know we kicked around some ideas, and I know you did not like my suggestion of cardboard tubes of goo. <laughs> and so you went with duh. tasty tubes. Yeah, duh, I don't know, it's just a marketing nightmare. It just wouldn't fit in a website. So no. tasty tubes, why? I mean, that's tasty kind of a cute name. Because it's, it's a sampler, so it, it's tasty. You get to tasty three different things, you know. It's, it's just, it's, it's cute for its size. It's just Perfect. And it can be used any time of year. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. That's right. It's it a great little gift-giving idea, isn't it? Yeah, and it, it's actually a nice little souvenir, too, for this Milkmean Valley. It is, you, uh, because the majority of your products do have some Smokemean Valley 
uh, ingredients in them. So I think you're absolutely right. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Brenda, and uh, let's uh, look forward to uh, what you're going to talk about next week. We won't even tease people because at this point we haven't even decided. No, that's right. We don't know. Jambusters.ca.